well today we'll study uh, edge editing in 3d right so i will change this just move as the view asymmetric and first of all you should know what is edge all right i will just create this box here just uh, make sure you are in 3d modeling workspace and just create a box hmm? every 3d solid object in autocad has three main properties all right to select uh, from these properties, you can select that 3D object. What actually these are? I will change the visual style as well to shade it with edge so you can see the shade and edge as well. So go to filter here in selection and here you can select from vertex, from edge and from face. Vertex means the joining point from the two edges or two lines. We are two lines made that point is called vertex all right you can also select each vertex like this and you can move as well if you want to move look if you will move look how you can create this shape so means you can also do vertex editing like this two vertex you have selected and you can move that vertex as well if you want to modify because a lot of things we are going to create with vertex make sure when you are selecting vertex and here the move 3d move is selected then you will see this gizmo from this gizmo, you can move uh, that vertex, all right, like this. Now look what shape you have created. Uh, then in selection filter, you have also edge. So you can select edge. Edge is a line like this. Hmm? Vertex means the point between two lines or two edges. Uh, and the edge means the line, uh, like you can see. So all the lines in 3D solid objects is called edges. You can select these edges again. You can move that edge as well if you want to move. So, after creation box, same you will go to solid and here you have fillet edge. Click on this fillet edge, and first of all, you need to uh, define radius. Go to radius and define any radius if you know. I will take 0.2 like this unit and click on any edge. Now you will see this edge has been filleted and it will show you temporary preview and click one time enter then you have also manual control if you click on this now you can see you can also do it by manually and you can put the value also in this dynamic input box for example you have value 0.5 just enter now this has been filleted again you want to change it just change manually as well then click one time more enter now this edge has been filleted hmm? I will do it again. So go to fill it and define radius if you know already. If you don't know, it's okay. Click over here, then click enter one time. Then you can do it manually like this, or you can insert value also in this box by typing just point two like this and press enter. Still, you have option to control it. If you are sure, just click one time more enter. Now job has been done. That's how you can fill it edge of 3D solid. Uh, some uh, we can also create like uh, like this mattress kind of like this you have then you can define uh, fillet edge from here just select <clears throat> now it's too much enter and you can just define it by manually like this and remember the value is 0 0.02 and enter yeah so again click now it's done Again, take fillet edge. You can select multiple as well, like this. Click here and click here as well. And also, you can select multiple edges like this, and like this, and like this as well. So, this shape will be created look like this. Hmm? So, any edge you have, you want to make it fillet, you can just fillet it as well. Hmm? I'll show you one uh, like very interesting fillet edge option. For example, you have one circle over it like this, and just press pull it or extrude it i will do extrude ext extrude and click here and just extrude it like this hmm? so this also has this edge uh, this uh, kind of cylinder so again go to fillet edge and click on this edge like this and enter look so you can also create like this hmm? again if you want inward direction so we will change the direction as well so this time i will not uh, extrude it so make circle again all right like this and just this time i will do it press pull so go to home and press pull it like this so make like this hmm? 
and then you need to fill it edge go to solid and fill it edge and click over here like this hmm? and look like you have welded it hmm? like this also like if you are making hammer or like this so you can weld also things like this hmm? again you have any circle like this you can create then use press pull all right like click here and just make it up then you want to make it weld then go to solid and fill it edge and just define the radius click on this edge and enter you can control it manually as well by clicking like this and press enter as well look wow right so you can make this surface uh, as well like you can make this design hmm? so this is fillet edge all right then we have chamfer edge next we have chamfer edge we'll see how uh, we know that in fillet we have to provide uh, the radius and we we want to get a curve but in chamfer we want bevel edges hmm? uh, chamfer edge like this you can see the description I bevel the edges of solid objects hmm? so same I will click here and just make a shape like this and you know the edge uh, this is the edge I want to make it bevel so click here and click chamfer edge we know that in fillet we provide the uh, radius but here we provide distance all right so click on distance so here you can provide first line distance all right like point uh, one and second line distance two now click over here so it will show you like this one and two it's very big because our object is small uh, i'll do it again so go to solid and chamfer edge click once all right again it's very big so here we need to change distance and i will make it 0.1 and 0.2 yeah now i think it's correct all right so this one is 0.1 and this one is 0.2 so again it's a temporary preview just click one time enter now you have manual control as well so this line distance is 0.2 you can change also 0.5 enter then you can also change this one 0.5 as well like this so you can do it manually as well manually i think it's easy and you can provide also distance and you have also real time preview how it's gonna look just click enter after done all right that, that's how you can work with fillet and same if you i will go fill it and this one i want to fill it enter and enter look like this Again, you can use fillet, so you can use diff, uh, both together as well, like this kind of shape. If you want to create from fillet and chamfer edge, you can create this one. All right. So this is how you can use fillet and chamfer edge. Next, you go to home, and next, what edge editing we have? So here in uh, solid editing option, here we have further edge editing commands. So first, we have extract edges. What do you think? What is extract edges mean? Extract edges mean it will separate the edges from 3D solid, right? It will extract. Extract mean make separate edges from 3D solid. So you can see here. So we have different edges here. These all are edges means lines. So if you want to separate them in simple, you can uh, convert it into wireframe or into wires or uh, we will not say 2D, but it will be in 3D plane. But yes, wireframe, you can convert it into wireframe very easy and simple people also say to convert from 2d 3d object to 2d as well so you can say also for to keep in your mind so select this object and click on extract edges that's it job done now if you will move it you will see you have extracted the edges from 3d solid to 2d now here you can see like you have these lines for the reference you can use also these all are empty you can use this line you can use this one for the reference like any any other purpose you can use hmm? so any 3d solid you have you want to extract edges you can extract easily for example here i have this pyramid i will just make it like this and you want to extract its edges we know that the edges so it's it's visible if you will just change into wireframe it will show you also like this so you are you you're gonna take this edges separate hmm? so i'll make it uh, shaded with edges so again select this object extract edges that's it so simple now just move it you will see you have just taken to the shapes like this hmm? and you can use for your further reference all right so this is how you can use uh, extract edges right 
Uh, next we have uh, imprint. Imprint is very useful command and like uh, like very simple definition they have provided imprints 2D geometry on a 3D solid. If you want to print any 2D geometry on a 3D solid then you can use this command. Hmm? For example, I have a box here. Let me show how I actually it will work like this. So you have box over here. Hmm? So here I will make a one line. So take line. This line is 2D, right? So from this middle point to this middle point and make auto on. And from this middle point we have. So here is the one line. This line is not a part of this. Hmm? It's a second. But what I want to do, I want to print it on this 3D solid, then it will become an edge of this 3D solid. Hmm? How we will do that? So just go to here and take this imprint and click on this imprint. Then it will ask you select 3D solid or surface. I will select 3D solid. Then it will ask you select an object to imprint. I will select this object and line to imprint. Then it will ask you. Uh, delete the source object do you want which you want to print you want to delete it yes i want to delete it because i don't want to keep it so just yes so it's deleted now it's done now just select it look look you have printed this line onto 3d solid just go to selection and select this edge and click on this edge now just move it you will see like it's a part of this 3d solid so it's it's become the part of this hmm? Same also 3D geometry you can print. For example, I will take REC rectangle. So this is the rectangle. Even it's going outside, no problem. I want to print only this visible area on this, which is uh, on this face. Again, go to imprint, then 3D solid, 3D object. Then you want to erase or no? Yes. Now look done. All right. Then you can use whatever. You can use press pull or you can use any option you want to use. Mm -hmm. Same here also you can use uh, uh, lines or if you want to print you can use like any lines over here like this so you can just imprint that lines also on this for example these are the lines all right so make sure it should be on face so then go to imprints and click on this face or uh, three solid then this face and yes I want to delete this edge now it's done. Now you can just use this one for press pull, all right, like this, and also for other option. Why? It's not done because it's not connected. That's why I look at here. Hmm? So make sure it's connected, but still you have printed this one. If you just go here, edge, and click on this edge, you have printed like this, all right? Now you will move it, so you can move it as well, all right? So that's how you can print your 2D object into 3D, then you can use them however you want to use. For example, like this even is going outside. So whatever the part is touching to the surface, going to print it. All right. So again, I will do that. Go to imprint, select 3D solid, then 2D object, then yes, delete it. Look, only that part will be printed. Right now, whatever you want to do, uh, you can do with this. Like select it, just go down and delete it. Like this, hmm, same here. You can select this part. Even you can extrude it, and even you can delete it like this. Look how it will work. Hmm? So it's simple. If you want to print 2D object into 3D, you can use imprint edge. Okay, 2D edge onto 3D solid. You can use this one. Uh, next command we have color edge. Color edge means you want to color any edge click this one and just click on the edge and enter then it will ask you the color just select and so simple why we do that we just for the reference purpose like if you want to just make a different one edge from other and for some special purpose you can just color it hmm? if you want to make it unique or some specific description is attached with this edge you can just make it different from other edge simple and the second last last we have copy edge this is also very useful you can copy edges for the further purpose like i will select this one select this one and select this one enter then just copy like this now you have copied this edge now you can use the like di distance you can also measure like this or you can use also for other purpose if you want to use that all right <coughs> same you can go di distance and from here sorry di 
and from this point to this point you can also measure the distance like this if you are facing problem or you can use for further purpose as well. For example, I want to copy these edges uh, from here so, so like this. So what I will do just copy edges click on that edge just move it and just this edge like this and this edge like then enter like this you can just copy like this is copied. 